so uh, you can all read uh, you know what this video is about um, I recently did a video on uh, moving to Canberra so I thought I would do one about moving to Melbourne but with a twist um, and it has been a while since I've done a video um, that's because I've been lazy been very busy with work um, and also just can't be bothered because YouTube sucks but that's another story if your question is should I move to Melbourne during the pandemic say perhaps in approximately 100 years when the next one comes uh, the long and short of it is probably don't do that wouldn't recommend not the best decision I moved down here with my partner and my dog who's actually not my dog uh, not my dog my partner's dog but he's mine now uh, and that was about six months ago and I still would say that I know nothing about Melbourne, um, which sucks because we haven't really been allowed to do anything. That being said, what we have seen has been really cool. Um, so many things that just wouldn't exist anywhere else, like a freaking typewriter repair shop. Have you ever seen one of them? No, you haven't because there's only one that I've ever seen in my life. So therefore you haven't seen any. And like haberdashery stores that aren't the giant spotlight chain, um, Places that just sell buttons. Have you ever seen that before? No. Places that just sell croissants. It's called a croissantery. What the hell? Um, but yeah, really cool place. Um, no beaches. They do have beaches, but they suck. So much so that I would go as far as to say the beach situation is similar to Canberra in that you have to travel quite far to go to the beach if you want an actual beach. That's not just a lake in the middle of nowhere with no waves. Um, that being said, you can go, like if, you know, lying on the beach is your thing without going swimming, there's, there's them for you. Melbourne's sick, I recommend it. There's things to do, even, even in lockdown, uh, it was more busy than kind of Canberra, which is funny. There's music, there's just stuff going on. People are nice, they dance funny. Don't hold it against them, it's weird. Rent's expensive, we live near the CBD, that happens. Uh, that being said, it's a little bit less expensive now thanks to the global pandemic that's just occurred that you may have heard of or that you may not have heard of. Transport, fantastic, much better than Sydney. And like Canberra doesn't even have transport, so like not even worth mentioning. Uh, ultimately, I wouldn't recommend moving to Melbourne in the middle of a pandemic. Uh, maybe wait till it's done. Um, so if you're in this position in a hundred years when this inevitably will happen again, uh, and you're watching this video and you're like, wow, a hundred years ago, I remember this guy saying, don't do that. Uh, I told you so. Um, but in the event that you're probably not in that position and just watching this video, I will be visiting Sydney soon, so hopefully there'll be some nice videos about Sydney. Um, other than that, uh, my guitar is in for a service, so no guitar videos at the moment. Sorry. Um, and I've got some plans for a few videos, but I don't know if I'll do them because, as per my previous email, YouTube sucks. I'm sorry, sir. Did I bug you? Anyways, thanks for tuning in. Uh, move to Melbourne, not during a pandemic. Thanks for listening.